gloves on, Sam. Yeah. Hey, you, Michael, you keep jumping over to Dave's page and flashing about like oh, Dave used to before. It, Dave. Oh, God, what is that? What did we do last week, Con? Was it me? I don't know. Yeah, your background. You turned your background off, didn't you? Yeah. No, stop. Yeah. Where is it? Rocky entered the week. Porky. Okay, great. No, I'll just go with that. Uh, I wonder if it is my background. Just doing this for something. Like, that's strange that we do that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It might be kind of weird, you know? Yeah, I know. I know. The wonders of modern science, see? Has it settled down for you as well now, Sam? What was that, Michael? Has the screen settled down? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Apart from it, just a um, bank where Porky may be. There he is. All right, Porky, all right. Hey, Porky, all right? So, where are you, Porky? I take it to your home? Can't hear it. <laughs> oh, God, Lord. Is that audio off? Uh, I have a look. This is a normal, normal procedure now. We go through this. Can you hear us, Porky? Nod if you can. Is that a nod, yeah? So your audio's off somehow. Uh, I don't know what you on, iPad? Oh, he's connecting to audio, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got it. There we are. There we go. How's it going, guys? Morning, Dave. Can you hear me? Yep, yep, I can hear you. Cool. Good. Yeah. You home now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, where, where, where's home? Sorry? Where's home? Nuki. All right. Because <laughs> from date, last few times you've been in different places. I'm not sure what, what you're home <laughs> where, where, I suspect where you lay your hat. Yeah. One, two. No, no, no. I'm home. I'm home. I've just been gallivanting around a bit. So, right. <laughs> well, you, you were in Portugal for a, an extended period this time, weren't you, Poggy? I was down there for a month, yeah. I thought so. Probably. I was down there working on my boat. Uh -huh. You fixed it at home? Um, I've, look, there's nothing right, really wrong with the boat, but um, I'm not bringing it home to this country. It's too bloody wet, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Just too wet. Well, you, is it in a, a marina or just a sort of a... Uh, yeah, I'm in a secure marina. All right. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. But when you were playing in that... Um, in that Bar. Was that a one-off, or did you get a couple of gigs there? No, I've, I've played in there quite a bit. No, oh, that's good. Mm. Looks like it's opening the windows to the outside, is it? Where you were? <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's a bit weird in there, really, yeah. because normally they play outside of that window. Yeah. yeah. Then a guy up the stairs, because up the top there's holiday. It's a holiday complex, basically. Yeah. And one old guy up there has been complaining, and the guy who owns the bar, Vieira, has had to enclose all the bloody bottom of the uh, bar in. Mm. All right. All right. Mike, um, I was talking to Mike Cunningham today, and he said he popped down to see if you were there. <laughs> when was that, Dave? Um, when did Mike say he went, Vic? About a week ago? No, I was in Singapore. Oh, well, that's why I couldn't see you then. Yeah, so only... he said you, he, he popped down to see you, and uh, yeah, and no, I only got really back good. on. Uh, I got back on Thursday night late. Oh right! Oh, there we are. Yeah, you went, you went the pretty way home then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Quite easy. That's a long oh, route, that, isn't it? Say again. I said it's a long route that. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, coming going from uh, Portugal to. Singapore, Singapore to come home, yeah. Yeah, I had a couple of weeks home. I had to do some work, so. As you do. Yeah. Mm. Not all of us do. Not all of us, no. 
So, oh, look, oh, look, oh, look, oh, Mike's speaking. Oh, okay. Mike's, Mike's going again. again. Okay, no, it's ridiculous. You have to get a new computer, Dave, I think. All I right. If you're going to wire in or something like that, you know. Have you got a pacemaker? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Vic, he's as soon as I took my screensaver off, it was okay. Screensaver? Yeah. Huh? Or background? No, the background, sorry. Yeah, but now it's yeah. coming again, look. Now it's going again, look. Yeah. Try taking yours off. Come on, see if it makes a difference. We we'll see that those dancing girls all behind you then. Yeah. Ooh, well. We stopped now, yeah. Oh, we're yeah. home. Right. <laughs> it's just one of those things, isn't it? Effects. Um, yeah. Off. Where's the fucking off? Well, it seems to settle down now, anyway. It's settled now. Yeah. Don't don't worry. Um, yeah. But that then um, your 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 background, uh, Colin, was that that was the skate park, the one in West Cross, was it? Yeah, yeah. Someone uh, I don't know who took a photo, but a lovely photo of the night time, you know. Look, I got another. I got a couple of good ones there. Where people are just playing around with lights and cameras and skating in the night day, you know. Oh, good. Yeah, really, skate parks are really photogenic for for, for night shots. Yeah. Or the light bounce off the concrete well or something. No, just uh, just all rounded curves and you know. It's, yeah. It's very hard to stick, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, aesthetically. Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Sam, can I ask you a question? Who's the yeah. guy who plays music or gigs out in Spain? Um, out in Spain, what, currently or used to? Yeah, currently. Um, he used to do Tom Jones impressions, I think. Well. I, want, I can't remember his name. It's gone well, me. I mean, there's a guy I know that uh, has been doing a, a vocal act for quite some time now, and uh, but I'm not sure if he's in, he does do a Tom Jones show now. Yeah. His name is um, he goes under the name of Andy Harley. Yeah, that's you know, that's his stage name. He because he, he got a Harley, but uh, Andy he, he's got a nickname, he used to be called um, Shovelhead or Pat Pasty. <laughs> lives in Ponte de Dallas. So I know he he does um, uh, a Tom Jones act. He's quite good at that. He's quite good at mimicking voices, you know, because he started when I was doing the karaoke in the beginning, about 1991. He was one of the first guys at it. And then he sung with a couple of bands, but he sings mostly now on his own with backing tracks. So I know he does it. There's a guy, and I can't remember his name. Oh, Is you're it... talking about John George? Yeah, John George, that's it, yeah. Yeah, he does a Tom Jones so actually because he's when Tom Jones came out, you know, facially, you know, with it with a stop dye in his hair, it was handy for John because John's kind of you know our age and he's kind of you know he's great, so he he, he kind of kind of looks like Tom Jones does now. Well, that's right, he because he um, he comes home now and then. He's quite pally with uh, my friend Mike Reese. So yeah. his name's John George, but he calls himself John Tyler. That's it, yeah. Now, I, I do know him from somewhere else, but the strange thing was he was doing something over in uh, somewhere, I think it was in Barcelona or it could have been Alicante Way. Yeah, his patch is, I think, um, uh, not far from where uh, W used to be. I think it's maybe up from Sitges. Somewhere like that, you yeah, know. so that's Barcelona way, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but anyway, a friend of mine works for an animal charity, so sort of yeah. rehousing dogs and cats and things. Yeah. And she, she wrote to me, said, oh, there's a guy here that we've booked to do a gig for us who says he knows you. <laughs> <laughs> what, that? she's out in Spain? And Yeah, yeah, she's Spanish. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen her for 40 years. Yeah, and she said, um, "Yeah, he says he knows you, and you have got a friend called Sam Sampson." Yeah. I, I said, "Who's that?" And then she told me, and then I then it sort of clicked. But I haven't seen him for about forty years either. Yeah, his, but he, he, he was around here, wasn't he? Yeah, he's um, he had a brother, who I think lives in Bryn Mill called Dave, 
Uh, and I first came across them in the 80s when they used to come to Martha's Vineyard. They were a couple of those sort of, you know, sharp dudes, you know, both kind of good looking. And, um, uh, and I think John went out to Spain because I think he started doing, you know, he started singing on the back end of karaoke and then he got the hang of it and turned it into a, a, a job. So he, he, um, he, he's done a couple of different characters, uh, you know, but the, the, I think the, the Tom Jones one is quite, you know, uh, what he does. But he also got involved with a bit of a, a kind of a, a punky setup as well when they were doing stuff. But he's based in, so he's based in Spain. He comes back now and then because his daughter <coughs> lives over here. And uh, but I think I think he was home about three weeks ago, just for about four or five days. It's not like the usual end will come home. <laughs> yeah, but he, his mum, Tom Jones, I, either does have or used to have a house at the top of Newton. You know, you go up past the rock towards Picket Mead, and if you go straight on, he had a house there. He used to live next door, or the, his mum used to live next door to, you know, the couple Linda and. Oh, they wow. they've got a motor home and they spend long stretches in Saint Tropez. I often see. In fact, I saw it on the surf side today. But he they used to live next door to where his mum's was house was in in uh, yeah. in Newton. Oh, right. Yeah, but that's it. Oh, so, so he what well, he did he did do you do you, what, did you remember him from then or did he just do some clicks and we were common friends or something? Yeah, yeah, we've come sort of friends. That's the bit. It was only you, and that's why I thought, oh, that's, that's, that? that's a bit of a strange thing. It was just, it was just a strange coincidence, I would think. Yeah, you know, it, was, it was a bit odd. That's all. It was just so. I thought I'd mention it now in case it suddenly pops up. Yeah, it comes up. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, can I say something else now? You hear about the bench? Yeah. Uh, we Con and I. Well, I wrote to um, Amy, and uh, Con was in on the yeah. CC. Bit. Um, she wrote back and said something about COVID and yeah. her son wasn't well and she wasn't yeah, you well. Said. Um, but I, I haven't heard anything from her since. Oh, so when you, we spoke the other day down Verdi's and you said you hadn't heard back from her since, so have yeah. you sent anything else to her? No, no, because I've sent two late. I sent one mail and I sent the same one again, we sent it, yeah. uh, about uh, 10 days ago and I've not heard anything, so... I don't know if she's dropped us or she's not well or what. I'm mean, sort of. Um, it's, it's difficult to ask somebody, isn't it? If yeah. Not what's 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 her, Amy? Amy is a name. Amy, what? I don't want to say it on here, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. On. Right. I'm just thinking, sort of, you know. Uh, okay. Um, you want to from emailing? Have you have you tried to have a look at her Facebook wise? Uh, I I haven't no because uh, she was rarely on there. But um, right. yeah. So um, well, what I'm saying is if. If anybody knows somebody else who can sort of um, go for do it. this sort of stuff, uh, yeah. you know, is that guy? Is that guy going to touch me from um, what's his name? Sarah Pd's friend. I don't know. Yeah. If, I don't know. I don't know him. Per, I, I I know his name, but I don't know him. But uh, he was doing some stuff. Hang on a second. I'll just talk amongst yourselves, right? I'll just check. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean. Okay. Would it be worth doing a, a Google search for Swansea yeah. wood sculptures? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I've got well, one guy. Wood, to be honest, it's just it happened that she was uh, wood, worked in wood, but uh, yeah. it could be anything. Mm. You know, yeah. it could be made of glass. I, it doesn't matter really. But uh, okay. I'm, I'm just right. sort of filling you in, really, in case. Um, okay, hang on. So I'm down. speaking to somebody. Do you know um, Phil Hardwick? Do you know him, Sam? Who Phil Hardwick? Hardwick. Yeah. Thing is with no. me, I rarely yeah, get the second names. It's usually faces and places yeah. and then names come next. It's so all right. I just I think I might know him, but I didn't not realise in the third name is Hardwick, oh, you know. I think he put a five in or something, whatever, he put some donation. Okay. And he just now, me tonight happening with it. So Are you ready? Yeah. There we are, look. It's this guy here, right? He's called Wild Bull Carvins. Who actually does some quite good stuff, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, also, it's all pretty solid stuff from whatever he does. And Cyril asked him 
uh, can he do surf? Has he done surfboards? And he said, no, but I'm willing to have a go. So I said, well, hang on, I'll, I'll tell you lot. And I did tell you about it a couple of weeks ago. But yeah. as normal, it just slips over. But, you know, he's a bit, a bit of a chainsaw man, you know. But as you can see, some of the results he gets are quite... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, yeah. So there's some... Uh, let's see what I mean? Yeah, well, actually, it looks like he's the first thing that's come up on this um, on this search. It says the man who does the amazing wood carvings you see in Swansea. Uh, Jacqueline is from that's Gary good. Wild Boar Carvings, is it? Wild Boar, yeah, yeah. You see, it's an example of a Ben Stair sort of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not exactly what we want, but it's it's rustic and it's pretty cool, you know. I think it's pretty cool, but. Yeah. You know, I'm sure if we get in touch with them or something like that, I, um, I might, be, might be worth having a chat with them, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, yeah no, I agree. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll, well, I'll do. I'll write once more to Amy. Yeah. And see, see if I get a response. And if not, then we'll have to sort of right, well, move on. Take a note, then. This guy's name, I, 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 I haven't got his code, and it's exactly, but it's Wild Boar. Wild Boar, okay. Scratching or something like that, yeah. yeah. Where's he based? Is this is me. I don't know. It just huh? is, this is an article from the. Um, mm. Well, he's in Coy Gwillan Park in Chile. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, so right. you know, we're not, um, even if Amy can't do it, then we're not uh, stumped for ideas and stuff like that, you know, so yeah. other people out there. I just, other things I, I just thought I'd better mention it to so that everybody knows that we haven't just sort of... Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah haven't got people are going to be... Looking well, at that space come good. summer. It's good that yeah. we're bringing it out now as well, because people who are watching us then will know that we we haven't forgotten about it and we haven't run off yeah. the money to Rio de Janeiro or something like that. You know? well, apart from our boat, boat that we bought in Portugal. Well, apart yeah. from the boat. Shh, don't tell him, man. We found that off the <laughs> boat. But, uh, looks, looks like his name Now is... it's out, isn't it? Now we, now we know about our boat in Portugal and Singapore. Yeah. So, you know? Looks like his oh, name By is... the way, how did the money transfer go in Singapore, Paul? It was all right. <laughs> yeah, no problem, mate. <laughs> yes, it looks like his name is Gary Turler. All oh, right. Was it? Turler. Turler. T U R L E R. Gary oh, Turler. All right. Does it say where he's from? Um, well, it seems to be he's picked up that job in. Um, uh, in Clitheroe, uh, you know, created out of trees by the canal path at Coyd Park in Clitheroe. Uh, but I, uh, self taught, spent most of my life tool making, but I got fed up with working in a factory. I did some wood carving part time for a while, but I took it up full time about three and a half years ago. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine for me. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, well, let's get in touch with him and oh, we'll see what happens with Amy. Give her a chance, isn't it? yeah, yeah, As a poor girl. If she has been ill and she has had a few problems, we don't want to just uh, no. <laughs> you know, send her into a headlong crash, do we, you know, something. But uh, we got to think about it because we got a lot of people who gave money, um, isn't that, you know? So, yeah. 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 So eventually it's got to be done. So um, for me, the better, sooner the better. But the sooner the better, yeah. Yeah. there's a bit of quality and a bit of uh, forethought, you know. Yeah. I, got a, I got a phone number here for him. Oh, there you go. Zero, you... Se zero oh, seven. Zero seven. No, you can't do that. Not on you. Not on you. Okay, right on. I'll, I'll, I'll the, message you. Go step yeah. on, uh, on the Silver Surfer's messenger. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right on. Yeah. I'll make a note yeah, of it. It's, it's called out in, not out in. What's it called? Um, yeah, I know. I get it. I know what you mean. Uh, who's got yeah. the submarine here? <laughs> <laughs> Who's <laughs> playing with a submarine? Yeah. It's not Porky's boat, is it? It's just... hey, Dave. Dave, yeah, I got something. You got something going? Oh. Yeah. Going. For, for those of a certain vintage, Dave. Dave's not here. Hey, man, yeah. No, no I'm Dave, man. Let me yeah. in. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> Who is I it? got the stuff. 
I remember when I was visiting PJ once in a couple of summers ago, and we were having a little jam on his porch, and um, and his son said about the picture, and I think I said I must have had my woolly hat on or something, and he said you two look look like um Cheech and Chong. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I remember playing those tracks when I used to do, you know, pub discos. Okay, I used to play little that? sketches like Bob Newhart yeah. and little snatches from uh, Cheech and Chong. It's really hey, good. Can you see this? No, you can't. Hang on. Why can't I see this? Shit. Oh, let's do it again. Yeah. Okay. Dave. I, yeah. found, I came across this. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's I remember, it. Not this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember it well. That's Pat Pat yeah. the Road, yeah. So so you said this is you here somewhere, isn't it? Was no, no, the, here. In the, yeah. With my hand on the board. Yeah? Yeah, that's me. All right, yeah, okay, great. Because that's Howard's board. That was Howard's board in the background. Yeah, and that... See the caravan? Yeah. That's where I live. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Lovely. I remember that building, I think, when we went down to get our boards. Yeah, you would have, Sam. Yeah. yeah. That's where I started work down there, Dave. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I checked it out the other day, um, and I not, there's nothing left of it now, of course. You know, it's just on Who was that in the doorway? Is that, that Bob? That's Bill. It's Bill. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah, but also it was and this one that got my attention. Oh, no, it wasn't that one, it was this one. Oh, I can't go back on it. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, this one because this yep. is right. That's a, that's a really early one, isn't it? Yeah, but this isn't you, though, is it? Yeah, that's me. Black yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Town and Beach. Yeah, it's on, yeah. on the first. Um, Biggers, is it Biggers or? Biggers, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, how big is that, Dave? How big? Yeah. Would have been uh, probably ten, nine foot, two or three. Yeah. It's got to be bigger than that, I would have thought. Christ. Yeah, you, you must have been shorter then, Dave. Yeah, oh, that's exactly. short. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now I can see it. Now I can see it. Yeah, but it, it was the hair that was putting me off. I thought, fuck no, some, someone's uh, using your name. I just wanted to show you, you know. Do you want this photo? Yeah. Dave, I'll send you if you want. Yeah, I did have hair. Yeah. You sure. remember, don't you, Porky? When I had Sorry? hair. You remember me when I had hair, don't you? Yeah, I remember it. I remember when we had those stick together bloody wetsuits. Yeah, that's. <laughs> and then what... Yeah, we got from. Geisley in Yorkshire, wasn't it? They sent them down already. You sent them their, their sizes and they set, they cut them out for you, didn't they? Well, I, I got one off bloody Dennis Gull. Oh, no. I get, that's that's one of the ones that we um, had to stick together ourselves. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The trouble is, a lot of the guys, when they went surfing, <laughs> for a while, put them into bloody tumble dryers to dry them out. That's right, and the tape and they all the glue unstuck. <laughs> and do you remember the, the wetsuits with uh, no lining, the single skin, no skin? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, they, you yeah, they were all, yeah. They were all single skin then. Then yeah, right. You know, you yeah. just put your foot through it. You're so easily reckless. Yeah, I'm impossible to get off sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So who Did was you, when you had sunburn? Who was Mick Jackman then? He, Mick he Jackman. Was he was a. Go on, Dave. Yeah, he was an Australian guy who had a shop. He married a local girl. Let down yeah. the music. He came over as a lifeguard. All right. And then he had the Maui surf shop, and Vicky worked, made his shorts for him. Right. <laughs> Well, I used to make boards for him. Yeah. I, know. I used to make boards for him, and Mick was a musician, and he used yeah. to play the piano. He was a jazz musician, and used to play the piano and also vibes. Mm -hmm. But um, Jill, his wife, 
is still in Australia, but Mick died a couple of years ago. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it was really funny. Like, um, so uh, I was down your way this week, Porky. I was down in Newquay. I've been spending an whole afternoon there. <laughs> you no, know, got on Google Maps, uh, searching out. Uh, I was trying to get some old. I was doing some research, and I was get, trying to get some old photos. I was going into Google Maps, and then going to the people who had taken photos, and then going to their page, and then see if they're there. You know, it was a bit. You should have gone up to the Pouchy and saw pickles. Uh, yeah. Because Andy's got all of old Doug's old um, photographs. All right. As Doug, as in Doug, Doug Wilson. Doug Wilson, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, yeah, but I was just doing it, you know, um, just as a little project, just for a just a little article I was thinking about doing. And I wanted the before and after shots, you know. So I, I got the Bilbo, and the Bilbo, is, I got shots from... 19 or oh, 2028 20, from the, where the billboard was in station four cart you know yeah yeah and uh yeah. that's been some bloody things isn't it oh it's all changed yeah i i did i to be honest when i got i got to the center the, the center road you know and was it called up for yeah. street um cliff road is it uh, cliff road something like that? Oh, cliff road yeah. Fourth street Bank yeah, Street. I got there and I didn't. I didn't recognise where I was. I couldn't find anything, and I thought, uh, yes, I had to go out and find out where the station used to be. Then I could yeah. I had a point of reference there, and I could see where the shop was. Used to be. I mean, but it's, no, it's all changed now, Con. <gasps> God, yeah, amazing. What was the yeah. pub we used to go to? Was it the Sailors? Yeah, yeah the Sailors is under uh, reconstruction at the moment. They're having a major refit in there. Yeah. Still in the same place, but um, yeah, having a major, major refit. Yeah. Who's Ooh. running it now, Porky? Sorry, who's running it now? I've got no idea. Uh, no, it's it changed hands when uh, Uncle Norman left um, and yeah. Norman Axis, um, and then unfortunately, Norm died. And um, Jack, who was running the pub then, Jack and Wendy. They left the pub when it was sold and what have you, and then Wendy's still alive, but unfortunately Jack's died now. But um, yeah, it's quite sad, really, because yeah. um, Norm basically died penniless. Did he really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to drink with him nearly every night until he died. Right. Yeah, I was probably one of the last ones to see him in hospital. But, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, it's just a shame, really. Yeah. Problem with drinking too much, man. It makes you ill. No, he got um, stitched up. He got sent uh, sent away into uh, prison. Oh, they were doing dodgy deals on land in in Newquay, and um, there were a load of councillors as well, and what have you. A load of other people, and somebody stitched him up, and he got sent down for. Oh, yeah. How long did Norm get sent down for, Caroline? Uh, don't rightly know. About three years. I think it's, yeah, about three years he got done for, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. when he came out, we were in a place called the King's Head. I don't know whether Dave remembers where it is yeah. down at Lane. Yeah. And Norm used to run that before he went inside and then as soon as he went inside prison he wasn't uh, allowed to hold a license oh right God. and um, we were drinking in there and this guy came into Nuki and he shot a load of um, the people that were all to do with this land deal and what have you and he shot a guy just up the road from the pub and on his next on his list was Norman Right. Yeah, right. but Norman was in a pub with us drinking, so uh, they luckily they got the guy. Right. I can see. Yeah. Um, Say again. No, I, I was just looking at a little prompt I've got you of um a biscuit. What? So yeah, I just I just, I just answered him. No, he just said, "Am I okay?" And I said, "Yeah." Are you coming on? So I don't. He know. must have gone to a different Zoom meeting or something. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it all happens happen. in Newquay, doesn't it? Yeah. Sorry? I said it all happens in Newquay. Uh, it's just, Dave, you'd never believe how much has changed down here, mate. Yeah. I, I, I went to... How many buildings are going up? There's a new filling station being built down the gannel here because we live just above the gannel, basically. Yeah. But there's a new filling station being built down there next door to the old one. And they're putting up 380 houses down there. Well, on that strip? Yeah. Blow my neck. Yeah. I gotta say, I went there three years ago. What's a big hotel? Is it a Grand or something? Uh, Bristol, yes. the one Headley. overlooking the sea on the hill. Oh, Atlantic, oh, on the way to Bristol. Yeah, Headland or Atlantic? Yeah, Headland. The old, Headland, fa yeah. old fashioned red, red brick. Yeah, yeah, oh, St yeah. John's place. Headland. Oh. Yeah. Is it yeah. the one they used in the film The Witches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah. the headland, but, uh, is it? I, like, I haven't been to Newquay for, for 40 years. I, I don't recognise anything, to be honest. I mean, it was just... Well, it was a, the, the main street was more or less the same, but that was about it. It was just houses everywhere on the way. Yeah. The problem with Newquay now is because they put such a tax on the houses in the main... Uh, the shops in the main street, the only people who've got shops in there, basically, are... Um, um, people Dreams. like, well, no, people like um, charity shops. All right, yeah, well. Because they, they, number one, they get all their stock is free. It gets left outside the shops. And all the wages, well, they don't pay wages because all the staff is free. They do it off their own back. And they get um, discount on the rent and rates and what have you. Because yeah. the rates are stupid. They don't pay business tax either, do they? Well, no. Yeah. Um, it's, it's much the same in Mumbles, to be honest. It's got, yeah. It's not like that, but it's getting that way now. There's more and more places that are struggling, you know, and uh, the, the owners just keep putting the rents up. And, uh, yeah. Eventually, they reach uh, breaking points, and it'll just dive down then. They'll all lose. No, nah, it's just yeah. silly here. But a lot of places in Newquay now... Restaurants and um, stuff like that, not pubs, but restaurants, they only open up for maybe three days a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is now just a sort of a holiday place then, really. Yeah. Yeah. But they've knocked down a lot of hotels and built, um, built apartment blocks. That's funny yeah. that all the hotels here in Mumbles, like the Caswell, Anglin, Every, everywhere, they, they've all been knocked down, turned into flats, but now they want to build more. Really? More hotels, yeah. 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 Well, build it's more built. flats or more hotels? Well, more hotels, but they, they're quite easily changeable to flats in five years' time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. They're very, very, you know, they're, they're very dis disponible. Disponable, or something. Yeah, it's disponible. like the um the, the new complex down at uh, in Oyster Mouth, Michael. You know the Oyster Wharf, uh, all, yeah. all the, the sort of restaurants, chain restaurants, uh, and then the um the Oyster House, whatever uh, Oyster, which was thought, oh, hotel. Well, it is a hotel as such, but not like as in Star Trek, but not as we know it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little a series of boxes which you sign into online. I, from what I can see, there's no actual reception and hello, welcome to. It's 16 boxes. Because when they first put that together, if you were looking at from the main Mumbles Road where Dave's sh shop used to be, you know, uh, where the, the petrol station used to be years ago, yeah. so when they, they did that new building, which replaced the arcade, well, the front end of it, facing the Mumbles Road, I always assumed was going to be the hotel reception but that is yeah. is a, like a little unit now which is up for grabs which nobody's yeah. gone at yet and so when you go to the hotel you go down the little alleyway which leads you either into gin and juice or all the way through and there's a little door on the side and i think what you do is there you you go in clock in with a pre thing number which lets you into one of the room you know so yeah. 
not a hotel as we as we no. remember it you know it's, it's all key locks and uh, key codes yeah yeah you, you can access it by your phone yeah yeah a lot of them you can access access it by your phone now. So, Porky, is it a bit like um, when New Key has always been a bit of a mecca in the summer, uh, yes. surf beach, whatever? But the main street, I suppose, it ended up having so many um, sort of surf-related shops that then, out of season, they can't function on their own. So it becomes nobody wants to put a a, a, you know, 12 months of the year business in there. Trouble is, they can't get the staff, so yeah, I'm they talking about the people can't get staff down here because yeah. that what they were doing, they they've all found another job since COVID. Yeah, that's a common. You, that you, is, can't, no. you can't find a chef down here for loving the money because huh. I've got buddies who've got pubs and restaurants and they can't get chefs because the chefs probably have found more money driving for bloody uh, these yeah. delivery firms. Yeah, and it's a catch-22 with restaurants and things. Like that one, we've got a, a big um, high-rise um, building on Swansea Marina, which has been there for about, I don't know, 20 years, is it? 15? 15 yeah. years? And it had a, right at the top of it, it had a state-of-the-art restaurant. Oh, fantastic. It, it was opened by an independent first, which hadn't done his homework, and it went down quickly. But then a uh, Brains Brewery came in, uh, and went in there, did a pucker job on it, top two floors, oh, really great. You know, flagship, icing on the cake of their chain of properties. But after the novelty wore off, of taking your friends to see this wonderful restaurant in the sky, um, there were mixed reports of service and one thing and another. So once you, you lose that momentum, not enough people go there regularly enough to treat it as a nice restaurant. So they end up not being able to have a good chef there, not being able to pay good staff there. Reputation starts to slip a bit. And then in the end, they, about a month ago, they pulled the plug on it. So really? Brain must have been running it at a loss. with not enough people going there to make it work, you know? It's, there's a few things against it, though, wasn't it? One, it was hard to park there. And yeah. If you did park, you had to pay a bow fiver. Yeah. And then, the, then you had to go up. 14 floors in a lift. Yeah. Yeah. You don't mind the novelty of going up in the, the lift, so but your passing trade doesn't exist, does it really? No. Yeah. no. <laughs> You've got to go 28 floors in the lift before you get in I, there. Where was this? On the, it, on on the, 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 um, the tower. The tower, yeah. What, is what it, tower? What's it called? Millennium Tower? Meridian Tower? Something Meridian. like that, yeah. Where, where is it? In, in, the, in, the, right. in the North you, Dock. All right, yeah, I, you know, I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, okay. Yeah, it went up without anybody knowing about it. Before the people of Swansea knew about it, it was already six stories high. So it's a typical thing in Swansea. It, nobody had a choice of whether they wanted a skyscraper. It was going up. So there was no channels of, excuse me, wait a minute, um, where did planning come for this from? It was one of those... Stop, stop, Sam, we got about 10 seconds to do it.